Hi guys, it's Chris at pdq.com. Today we're gonna to go over some frequently asked questions that we've had in previous webcasts. In particular, I like to go over the PowerShell questions. This is a new format that we're going to see if it works, and hopefully we'll get some questions and some insights to those questions and give you a direction to go. One of the recent questions we had about PowerShell is how do you test your PowerShell scripts? It can be a kind of difficult question because there's a lot of answers to that. In fact, Microsoft recently added the Pester uh, test framework to PowerShell itself. It was a community created module for PowerShell, but it's actually been included with Windows 10 in recent versions. You might take that as a sign that they really do consider testing important, but that kind of gets pretty complex pretty fast and perhaps we'll address it in another video. In any case, perhaps you have a simple script that you want to find out what's going on. You want to test it. The easiest way to do is to, well, let's show an example. Let's do, I'll do my array. We'll just create a simple array here. I'm just gonna create an array with one, three, five, seven, nine as the values, and then we'll loop through it with a for each loop. So for each guy in my array, let's do some stuff. In this case, let's just have it output some text. My value is guy. When I run this, I should see my value is one, my value is three, all the way up to nine. There it is, you can see it down here in the output. Now what if this was actually doing some pretty potentially damaging commands? Say you're deleting files, you're updating files, you're, you're doing something in a production environment. You might not want to just run this willy-nilly, cross your fingers and hope for the best. That's considered bad practice. So what I like to do in these simple scripts is simply comment out the command that I'm really worried about. In this case, write output, put the beginning of the line here. You can use the pound sign to comment out single lines. And then here I can add something else to test my logic. So perhaps I actually am, let's actually uncomment that. Perhaps I'm actually going to be doing remove item guy. If guy was a file, I wanted to make sure that I'm removing the right ones rather than anything else in that folder. There are some command parameters called what if for a lot of these commands and you can run that and it'll actually tell you what it's going to do without actually doing it. But if you don't have those or don't want to use those, in lieu of removing it, you can comment out that dangerous command and then do something here. And so instead of my value is guy, it's I'm removing this one. And then we run that and hopefully using text throughout your scripts like this, you might be able to kind of test a loop before you actually run the loop. You might be able to test a, a delete statement without having to test it. Uh, you might have an if statement that you want to test some logic. So my value is true. I have an if statement where, let me resize this real quick. If value, my value is true, and this is a Boolean comparison, so I don't have to actually say it equals true. If my value, let's do this stuff. This will say, if my value is true, do these things. Else, if my value is false, do these other things. So if you're determining whether or not you're deleting a file, updating a file, doing something that could be dangerous or destructive, you might just test your logic this way. Write output. Uh, my, let's do it this way. My value is, not my array, my value. Just copy that, paste it over here. So when I run this, just this little snippet here, or using F8, it'll tell you my value is true because I have it set above. If I change this to false, it'll show the exact same output. My value is false. It's cute, well, same because it's showing the exact same uh, variable. But you can test to see if this is going down the different path by adding more text around that. So write output, this is my else statement. F8 or this button. This is my else statement, my value is false. So you can add descriptive strings using your variables to kind of test your logic. There's, there's so many different ways to do this. This is just a really simple, straightforward, especially for simple scripts method. Once you start getting complex, I do recommend that you jump into Pester and take a look at that. Uh, it allows for some pretty complex testing and mocking up of values. So 
hopefully this is kind of a quick dive into what you could do to test simple scripts. Thanks for watching. Chris at pdq.com.